This is the Pride Diaries by Mars T, giving you update of what's happening in the queer entertainment, because representation matters. This is exactly why you should not be fucking around in here. It's I've just got so much on my plate already, and now this. Yes, it's just an accident. You're Shane and Finley start some demo work at the new bar with a completely gratuitous slow-motion thirst trap. But Tess isn't too thrilled that they started doing the demo instead of waiting for a contractor. She's even less thrilled when Finley smashes a water pipe. Oh, shit! Fuck! You okay? I'm gonna I shut you up! I got it! I got it! I will go around the corner! Hi. It's not a big deal, yeah. Tess, truly. Shane leaves after Tess snaps at her pretty harshly. I can help with that. Your help is how this happened, so thanks but no thanks. Shane shows up to support Alice's 100th episode. Dan, I can't stand this picture. I did your hair for them. Well, I like my hair, I just... This is better. And to bring a box of old Shane for wax hair products to Ivy. Yeah, I don't want that. I know you don't, but Ivy does. And I figured I'd give them to her, so... Okay. Do you know where I can find her? Yeah. When Taylor is abruptly tapped to be on air, Ivy convinces Shane to style Taylor's hair for the show. Okay. Take it away, do your thing. Taylor? May I? Yeah. It's clear that Shane misses doing hair. Shane, still upset from the fight with Tess and still feeling constrained by domesticity, sleeps with Ivy in one of the empty studio rooms while the show is going on. They're almost caught by Tess, who arrives at the end of the show to apologize to Shane. I'm sorry I snapped at you earlier. All is forgiven. Yeah. Even though they're not caught, Sophie figures out what's going on when she sees Ivy exit the room just after Shane walks away with Tess. That's the same, same to you. Clearly, Shane still hasn't learned a less destructive way to manage her feelings. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.